Back towards the end of February, NASA says the sun emitted two strong solar flares, and the agency's Solar Dynamics Observatory was able to capture these images you see now. They caught these solar flares by using extreme ultraviolet light to make the flares visible to us. And take a look at this. Australian astronomers have discovered what may be the brightest object in our universe. It's a quasar located 12 billion light years away, and astronomers say it's over 500 trillion times more luminous than the sun. Quasars are powered by massive black holes and have been around since the early days of the universe. It's believed that the black hole at the heart of this quasar has a mass of 17 billion suns. And the first images from a powerful new space telescope from Europe have been revealed. The European Space Agency launched the Euclid Telescope back in July. Its mission is to create the most detailed 3D map of the dark side of the universe over the next six years. These initial observations were captured from the telescope's orbital home one million miles from Earth. The images include colorful views of a stellar nursery and massive clusters of galaxies and stars from millions and billions of light years away, many of which had never been seen. There's also been a new study published in the journal Nature Communications that found Mars could be driving giant whirlpools that can reach the bottom of the Earth's deep oceans. The authors say the currents or eddies can erode the seafloor and cause large accumulations of sediments. Scientists analyzed the sediments drilled from hundreds of deep sea sites over the past half century to look back tens of millions of years into Earth's past. The study said the cycles are linked to the interactions of Mars and Earth orbiting the Sun and translates to periods of increased solar energy.